Hello everyone, I got off in 22 NASCAR here, and today I have another diecast review, and this time it is of, not a NASCAR Authentics, but a NASCAR, I guess, Lionel, I don't know what that is, I think it's Motorsports Authentics or whatever, but, anyway, I have a diecast 164 review of a 2010 Texas Motor Speedway, the Great American Speedway, AAA Texas 500, the 2010 race, diecast, this is a Texas Motor Speedway diecast, and I love collecting these. And now that does limit my down my list down to cars I need to get is 1998, 99, 1000, 01, 02, 04, uh, 06, 2011, 2012, and 2014. So there's only more diecasts I need. I don't know how many that is. That's a lot, but this is for the November 7th race. So. I really love these diecasts of the Texas Motor Speedway and the race ones and like the racetrack ones. So I think they have some pretty cool paint schemes. And they look just look really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up off camera so so we can review this thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and review it. So here is the die cast and by the way I did got this from my aunt for my birthday I guess. But anyway here it is. Let me zoom in a little bit better on here. On the name rail, we can see that it's November 7th. Well, it's a little kind of hard to see. Because of that light glaring. Sorry about that, guys. But it'll be to hopefully see a little bit better. Hold on. You can see a little bit there. I have November 7, 2010. 2010 right there. Let me... Sorry, guys. I don't know why my, why my camera on my iPad always messes up. NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, NASCAR Race Car, Moo, USG, all those contingencies, Goodyear, Blake Texas 500, on the hood right there, November 7, 2010, more contingencies, Goodyear Eagle, and this is another thing what I found interesting, that there's no, uh, there's no, like, manufacturer sponsor for this car, usually, like, Monte Carlo or Chevrolet sponsors this, but, Arizona on there, so I guess 2010, they gonna get a sponsor, I guess, for the manufacturer of this diecast, which is kind of disappointing, but, you see there's that on the back either, GoSpeedwayWorld.com, and it got the spoiler on here, I thought like they only used it for two years in 2008 and 2009, and I know they raced it in 2010, so I think that's pretty interesting, that Texas Motor Speedway logo on the back, and this is one of the, this is what I love about the Texas Motor Speedway diecast too, is when they include the state shape and the, like the Texas flags. I think that looks pretty cool in those diecasts. So here it is on the other side. Looks pretty cool. And yeah, just a pretty cool little diecast review. Uh, thank you guys for watching this, and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.